Activision, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Sony, and everyone's last company that is watching this video, the following applies to you. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allows is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit, educational, or personal use keeps the balance in favor of fair use. Hi guys, this is User Mods and welcome to another episode of my custom firmware tutorial series. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can convert your system back from DEX to KEX. Uh, this tutorial will be for users that have kept a backup of their uh, KEX, KEX dump. Uh, if you don't have a KEX uh, backup of your KEX dump, you're gonna have to wait for another uh, separate video on how to go from DEX to KEX without a KEX dump. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight to the uh, tutorial part. Suppose you have your KEX uh, dump, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna plug your USB into your PC. Uh, then you're gonna go on the root of your USB like this, on the root of your USB. And then you're gonna get your uh, KEX dump and you're gonna copy and paste it on your USB. Make sure you have nothing on your USB before you uh, you you put your kex dump or else this is not gonna work and there is a a slight a slight break a slight risk sorry that you're gonna break your console so it's very crucial that you don't have anything else except for the kex dump on your usb um your kex dump should be a kex flash dot eid zero dot norbin uh, file uh, if you have a NAND PS3 it's gonna be NAND bin and the size is probably gonna be like um, 257 uh, megabyte so yeah without uh, further ado let's continue uh, once you put your KEX flash on your uh, USB you're gonna safely eject your USB from your uh, PC uh, you can do that by going on the taskbar on the bottom then you're gonna go here on safely eject uh, mass storage device which is my USB and then you are good to go so as far as you have done all this you are safe to go and you're gonna go on your PS3 so I'll see you guys in a second on my PS3 so guys as you can see I'm now on my PS3 and what we're gonna do now is we are going to um, to swap all the two kernels and rewrite target ID in class so we convert our system back from uh, DEX to KEX so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna install uh, if you don't have it already on your console rebug toolbox uh, you must be on a rebug on 4.46 uh, DREX or else this is not gonna work go on rebug toolbox open it and once it's open you're gonna go on uh, kex slash dex section uh, before you do that make sure you're on dex yeah well system information you can see it says lv2 kernel dex and target type dex so now you're gonna go on uh, kex slash dex and you're gonna see there the uh, swap lv2 kernel switch between kex and dex lv2 kernels so press that uh, it should say LV2 kernel successfully changed to KEX slash uh, retail. So once you do that, it should say system restart is required. Press OK to reboot. Then press OK and your system should uh, reboot itself. So bear with me until it is back uh, on. As you can see guys, um, I'm back on my PS3, it's rebooted. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go again on uh, Rebuck Toolbox and once it's open you're gonna go on KEX slash DEX uh, again and you're gonna go on uh, Rewrite Target ID in Flash so KEX slash DEX and then Rewrite Target ID in Flash uh, convert PS3 to KEX slash DEX if valid flash dump is provided. Uh, now it's the uh, important part. Make sure your USB is plugged on the uh, right port of your PS3 or else you're gonna break your console or it's just uh, not gonna work. I'm not sure which of these two is gonna happen. 
but there is a, a risk of uh, breeding your console so make sure you plug it on the right port it's very crucial uh, you do it on the right port so once you plug it on the right port go on kex slash dex rewrite target id in flash press x and then it should say you are about to change your ps3 region uh, target id are you sure press yes uh, then a warning box should pop up, it should say this operation is dangerous and should be carried out only if you are confident. Yes, you are sure. And then it should say uh, flash uh, EAD0 region successfully overwritten. Please quit to XMB, turn off and turn on your system. So once you do that, you are gonna quit to uh, XMB like this. Quit game. And then uh, once you are on your XMB, you're going to go uh, left where it's uh, on user tab and you're going to go on turn off system. Yes, turn off your system. And then you're going to turn your system back on. and then you will be uh, successfully on KEX so bear with me alright guys once you're back on your uh, PS3 what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back on uh, Reback Toolbox so uh, open Reback Toolbox And then once you are on your uh, Reback Toolbox, you're going to go on System, System Information. And as you can see, it says um, PS3 System, Firmware 4.46, cause you're on Reback, uh, LV2 Kernel KEX, and Target Type KEX. So as you can see, guys, you're now on KEX, successfully on KEX. So once you do that, um, I'm going to show you how you can downgrade to uh, 3.55. And from there you can install uh, any custom firmware of your choice. So uh, once you're on KEX, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go back on your uh, PC. And I will tell you what you're going to have to do from there. So I will see you guys in a second. So guys, as you can see, I'm now on my PC. And what you're going to do now is uh, you're going to download the uh, Reback 3.55 point four nine 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 downgrader i will provide link for this update in the video description so just download it and save it on your desktop or anywhere you want so uh, as soon as you um, you download it and save it what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your usb into your pc then you're gonna go on the root of your usb again and you're gonna see the uh, kex uh, dump right there you don't need this you can delete it as soon as you're on kex um, I would suggest you keep a backup. I have it uh, here so I can just delete it and Once you delete it from your USB and you keep a backup of it All you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna you're gonna get the uh, rebug 999 downgrader and you're gonna copy and uh, Oh before you do that you're gonna make a new folder on your uh, on the root of your USB you're gonna name that PS3 and then uh, inside PS3 you're gonna make a new folder and name it uh, update sorry about that update and then inside the update uh, you're gonna copy and paste your uh, rebug 999 downgrader like this uh, excuse me sorry for that it's gonna take a while so bear with me it's already on 50% um, So once you have your uh, Rebug999 downgrader on your uh, PS3 folder inside the update folder uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on it and then rename and then delete uh, everything in the left side of uh, PS3 update.pup like this and then save it as PS3 update.pup so once you do that uh, make sure it's PS3 update, update and then sorry uh, PS3 update.pup 
and then once you do that you're safe to go and you will um, you can safely eject your PS3 your USB from your PC and I would I would recommend you do that uh, say uh, I would recommend safely ejecting your USB as we are dealing with firmwares and we wouldn't like our PS3 to um, get bricked so eject my storage device and once you do that you're good to go and I'll see you in a second on my PS3 so as you can see guys I'm now back on my PS3 and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the uh, we're gonna downgrade our PS3 to 3.55 using the 999 downgrader so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna plug your USB into the uh, right port of your PS3 then you're gonna go uh, left to um, system update you're gonna go on system update and then update via storage media and then it should scan your system and it should find your USB um, uh, 3.55.4 rebug uh, 999 downgrader press OK uh, then it should say copying data uh, to the system storage update data so just bear with me until this is done uh, this is gonna take a while actually it's gonna take a couple of secs so I will just uh, fast forward the uh, process and I will be back when this is uh, all done so bear with me until it's done So guys, as you can see, the uh, update process has been completed and I'm now on my uh, PS3. As you can see, uh, I'm going to show you now that I am on 3.55. Uh, go on, uh, I'm going to go on settings, then system settings. And then system information. And as you can see, it's uh, system software version 3.55. So we are now on 3.55 rebug, uh, rebug 3.55.4 kex. Uh, we can now install uh, any custom firmware of our choice. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on 4.55 or zero, but this is gonna be on uh, on an, on a separate video. Uh, so guys, I think this is, this is pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, this tutorial has been uh, uh, a video on how to. Uh, this has been a video on how to go from Dex to Kex with your uh, Kex uh, dump. There will be another video soon on how to go from Dex to Kex without your 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 Kex dump. So uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. This has been uh, user mods, and I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.